Welcome back to Reverse Robbery. So, it only took another two minutes of waiting before these all turned off, so I was, guess I was right about the uh, timing. So, we have all the gears. Let's go down to the vault. Two more cameras in the vault, I remember that. Uh, from the book. We have ten minutes. I can look at my recording timer to know how much time I've got. It was this way, I think, to the vault. Yes. Silver gear, iron gear, blah blah blah. That's enough lurking about. Okay. What's going on here? What? Hmm. One way or another, I'll find Why is everyone... Why are they all riled up? Hmm. I don't know. Are they going to try and find me out here? Stop right there! Hmm. Come back here, damn it. Did they die in the electric door? No, they they have trouble with the electric mm. door. You will be brought to justice, criminal. I have no idea what set them off. But since there's since they are set off already. Let's deal with the cameras. Or one of the cameras. There's one more. And I have a flash bomb for these two. Let's just You won't be so cheery when my friends arrive. Right, the other one's up there. Cool. This must be the basement camera controls room, right? Then the burglars managed to break. That's why they came in from the sewers. Okay. I only have the one fire arrow, sadly. I must have picked up another one. Well, that's the actual vault. Oh, this is the safety deposit boxes. Dang, this is where I need to be. Number 28 up there on the right is my one. until dawn anyway, so I guess I'm not getting My sword! Twenty thousand of diamonds. Alright. All we gotta do is rob the tomb. Well, we gotta get back down. Probably lock, lock this again, right? Just so we don't leave evidence of who it was who'd done this. At least not unintentional evidence. Okay. We're not going to be able to get in the vault, are we? I don't think there's any way we're getting in the vault. So how do we get into... I was going to say the only place we have to go left to go is... is um, we can't, we can't relock these. I don't know how those un... how you get the gears back out again, but I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just go out the front doors of the bank, right? Vaults out like we own the place.
All right. Well, there's the Tomb of St. Stephens, but there's also the... The warehouse. Let's have another look at the warehouse. It's a code, right? It's four-digit code. Maybe there's something I missed. It's only five minutes into the episode, so it would be uh, rather undramatic if we left, you know, just now. So I'm sure I've got a bite arrow out of two different places. Hmm. Maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe I did and it was in a path when I uh, got killed and reloaded. I don't know. I wonder, can we maybe see any hints of a code by looking in the basement? Would be uh, a fun thing if one of the windows accidentally showed us code. I would like that as a, as a level design thing. It's like, hmm, well, how do you how do you find your way in? How do you find out how to get in? Otherwise, we'll have to look at the readables we got here, maybe. Oh, there's somebody in there. Is he looking for me or is he just hunting? No, okay, he didn't see me. Huh. The dartboard. I just got my zoom on, which is awkward. Let's unzoom here. So they knew the code, whoever they were, but it doesn't help me. I looked in these ones, didn't I? Huh. several people in there. At least two, it sounds like maybe even three. There's nothing in here about it, right? And you left a note Asking the guy here about it. The cathedral. Yeah, various other notes. The Horn of Quintus? Where did I get the Horn of Quintus? Oh, that was in my bank vault. Right, right. That's the other thing I had. In my safety deposit box. Thought I sold it. Nothing like they haven't written in books or anything. Well, now I've got my sword. You know, I can start to deal with banners as they deserve. Didn't help me, but lets me get rid of some of the frustration, I guess. <laughs> Rupert Avery. Rupert is a very annoying boss. How... There's definitely room for wall safes there. Oh, because we found the wall safes there. 
Silly me. Hmm. Well, it's not necessary to the mission, but I would like to know. There's nothing in here written down that we can read. But the other thing, I can try to cheese it by uh, getting the attention of that fellow. stuff down there. And then get, I'm going to go bang on the door and see if anybody comes to let us out and comes out and opens it. And, but uh, it doesn't seem entirely likely that they would. What I'm going to do... Let's go back to the church, which is... We'll go down to the bank in the east, I guess. We'll try and rob the tomb, and then, depending on how we get on for time, I might look up a hint for the code, because I've seen nothing, not a single thing about it. I don't know how... I haven't got the faintest idea how we're supposed to figure out what the code is, or find it. I thought the bank vault might have stuff, but of course it's just all safety deposit boxes, which we can't open. Well, I admit I didn't try opening any of the others, but maybe that's, maybe that's, I should have. <laughs> they should be unpickable. Alright, we've got a book. Life and Death of Saint Stephen. The Redeemed. Talks about the riddles. Though not in ways that make it any clearer. Particularly. Don't provoke that. Oh, yeah, be careful where your thread is full. Oh, the trial by fire. Yes, right. That's the second fire arrow, but it's a trial by fire, so. Can we ignite the torches with one fire arrow? Probably not, right? We can't light them at all. Okay. We're not supposed to put the lights out, are we? We definitely need to do this again. Don't let them see me draw a bow. Once we're up here, we can do this. Right, travel by fire. Don't know what that did. This one made the thing come down. doesn't reset, so whatever the other one did probably hasn't reset either. We have an F and an H. Those don't mean anything to me. Oh, is that telling me what things to, to tread on down below? I guess maybe it is. I'm not sure what the other... 
That's my right. There isn't an F and an H. Can we just tread on these two? All that work and, and to our end, a lofty perch you can't descend. Best to fall on your own knife and try again in the next life. Okay, we got it wrong. All that work and to our end, a lofty perch you can't descend. Best to fall on your own knife and try again in the next life. What does that mean? Could we spell Stefan? There's S T Oh Ow. Reload. Yes, we could. Let's try. Let's try spelling Stefan. Trying to look. Where's the rope? Other side. Oh, it's gonna be. Can we get around this? Yes, just. Okay. Let's see. I think that's wrong. Uh, what else might we go to spell? That's spelled knife uh, or life or perch. I wonder what the second switch did, because one of the switches didn't seem to do anything. <laughs> All that work until our end, a lofty perch you can't descend. Best of all, on your own knife, and try again in the next life. I mean, I don't agree with that sentiment, but... I do wonder about the two unlit torches, but... And the fire arrow. I mean, we might need to look at bloody hints for this, because this is... Opaque as fuck. Nope. That's wrong. Do I just trial and error? That would be annoying, but I could. F does not seem to have work in anybody. Or done anything else. That was close. Alright, it's not FH. Fire. Do I spell fire? Fire by fire. Maybe? I don't, I don't know if I've got an R. There wasn't I, there wasn't E. Yeah, maybe we spell fire. We, there's an R. Uh-huh, okay. Right. You've got to be kidding me. 
Yeah. Where's the book? Patterns of darkness, patterns of light, only one path safe, only one path right. That means stick to the right. Well, let's try that. It apparently does not mean that. <laughs> only one path safe. And only one path right. We always go left when faced with the choice. Nope. Is it, oh, maybe there's four jumps. Let's check the book again. Right, so first we go left. Then the next we go... Bright sun to life. Then we go to the bright one. Then we go to the bright one again. Shining fires to feast. Uh, outside the night is a terrible beast. Okay, so we go left. Then we go light, light. And then light again? I don't know. I think it's going to be trial and error, honestly. Uh, if we get down there, there's no way we're getting back up again. Well, that's what we got to do. You know, what we said, light, 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 right? No way I can reach that though. Don't think there's any way I can reach that one. Um, but we'll try it. Ah! It's a long way down. Ah! This may have been a very bad place to quick save. I don't see any way to get anywhere. Well, maybe we can just reach the door. Nope. Ah! Not at all. Not in the least. Hmm. I don't have a... The only good save I have is from the back of the bank before we robbed the vault of the bank. So now what? I mean, this is solid. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Sneaky. That's the wrong one. Even though it seemed to me like it should be the right one, judging by the right. Alright, do we go for the dark one then? Apparently so. That one's wrong, right? Yep. I don't... I have any I don't understand the riddle, I'm just trying on erroring this because Well let's try that door. It's, the others are oh well we don't know actually. Nope. Why does this one not have a platform anymore? That's not the way to go. Where do we go? Do we have another switch? Oh, hello, what's that up there? Hmm. Are we shoot an arrow in that? Nope. And there isn't another switch hiding around here or anything, is there? I'm quite sure. I, mean, I feel like I could make this jump without landing on the platform. <laughs> but it's not the way to go, so I'm not going to save here.
So dark, light, light, dark. Maybe that is how it went. And then we go light, dark again. Well, it does sound right. So now we have to find a dark platform to go to, but. Oh, there's a switch right there. And there's a the dark platform we gotta go to, okay. Not so terrible then. It's a little. Aha. Uh -huh. And that's the door. Alright. Finally, color to color, follow the lights, and soon you'll reach my tomb. Any poor sergeant's timing is off, we'll follow the lights to his doom. Follow the lights. Nope. <laughs> Right. Follow which light where? Purple first? Ow. Huh. Right, we wait till purple is going down towards that green thing and then we walk into it. Right, I see. So it goes down there. There we go. Yeah, right, okay, now green. It's gonna go above a platform. Hopefully one we can see and then we step into the green portal. There we go. Ah, we could have gone for orange just then, but we have to wait a minute. Alright. Now oh, this is the easiest of them, it's the least guessing required, only one piece of instruction for each. And then white, I guess, crosses over the middle part. At some point when we can see it. There we go. Whoops. Chalice of St. Stefan. I didn't even see it because the door got stuck and I accidentally frogged it through the door. Well, anticlimactic, but... Oh, I was going to say, how do we get out? There's a bridge. That's convenient. A bridge for the convenience of, uh... Tomb robbers. How do we get out through there? I guess we can jump, jump, jump back the way we came. Hopefully. Right, they're the only platforms left. All the fake platforms disappeared. And the horns are all gone. Now we can even take our rope back. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I've had worse puzzles. The, the, the platforms one really just threw to me the most. Like, hadn't didn't really understand how to figure out which platform was which, and wasn't getting the confirmation from reading the thing until it was rather too late. All right. Well, I'm only half an hour in. Let's head back to the warehouse. We've got all our objectives right. Yeah. Um, and that's near where we enter the district. And I will look up a hint one, once we get close to the warehouse. I could finish the mission. You know, I'd be reasonably happy finishing the mission regardless. Except that I want to understand what I'm missing. For my own curiosity, really, rather than for the sake of the video, but... So I really ought to set up a pause key in OBS so I can do this without cutting and then editing a video. I mean, obviously there's a cut, but... Like, without manually... ...cutting. Avery Sun's warehouse. Alright. 
see you in a minute. Okay, I got a hint. The hint was not anything about the warehouse. The hint was take a good look around the pub. Well, I would not have expected that that was where I would need to go to find the code. It's readable there, I guess. Oh. You, sir, should not be awake. <sighs> See, his helmet looked like one of the unknockoutable ones. Maybe it's not. Maybe there are different types. I mean, you it's actually fine if you're awake. There's no need to bother you, but, you know. Finish. Let's just do a thorough cleanup job, shall we? So this is the pub. That's uh, a guy we found somewhere. Hmm. Oh. That's a readable. It barely even registers the lights up because it just looks like the flickering light, but also it's not a readable. It's not an item. It doesn't read to me as an item. Hartley Burns note. Okay. Banker is getting blah blah. Hide him. He's getting uneasy. Hide him below. Code is 4183. Right, oh, so the Marcus von Goethe that uh, they were worried about, I guess they've decided to kill him. His body is probably in the soft storage. 4183. We'll something tight for a few days and be on our way to Blackbrook once the Fuhrer dies down a bit. Burn this note, of course. Okay, burn it thoroughly, yes. Well, there we are. 4183. 4183. Problem solved. Not what I would have expected, to, to find a incriminating note poorly disposed of in a public place that had nothing to do with any of the crew that I was aware of. Like, if we'd found that in Dubois's place, fair enough. Um, if we'd found it on, you know, it, like, one of the other guys were Ramirez, this guy's like Jacko and that. But uh, it just, on the ground in the pub, not looking like an item that, you know, that I'm at all familiar with, right? So it's not even recognizable from that basis. Oh well. Do I still have a flash bomb? I do. Right, he wasn't actually looking for me. What? Hmm. Quiet now. You saw something too? there? Whoa! Look what we got here. Taffer, count your hours. Okay, well, let's love them down here. A lot of a lot of rooms. I don't know where he's gone. Well, I mean, I guess he went upstairs, right? Yeah, he's out there by the gate. Chalice of Saint Stefan. Okay, it's dark here, so we might be able to get the drop on him. If we're careful. He's gonna be twitchy though. I 
can't get the drop on him, we won't be able to do the old run around. I'm gonna make you bleed! There we go, that'll do. He got me, he did make me bleed, he was quite right. Okay. I'm still alive though, that's what matters. Let's get a replacement for my lost out. Okay. Anything of value in here? I mean, a lot of junk. <laughs> flares I don't need. We can't do fun stuff with flares. No? Ah. That's supposed to work. Jeez. Not a single hit point that well. Some more valuables. That's something that we don't have to leave to incriminate people. <coughs> Who are you? Oh, you, Marcus. Maybe they didn't do something bad to him. Maybe they just left him down here or what? Seemed like a good idea at the time. I suppose that should be written on my tombstone. They say we'll need to hide down here until Ramirez and the watch stop looking for us. But I'm already going mad. I keep expecting a gang of thugs to burst in here and kill us all. Not to mention the constant humming of the machines. Duval went out to scout around. I'm a little nervous about being left here with these other fellows. I don't think they are happy about my getting a share of the banquet. I can't wait to get out of the city and on the road. I just realized that when I left my house I was in such a hurry that I forgot my father's gold pocket watch. It's all I have left of him after the war. I wonder if I can sneak back to my house and get it before we leave town. Surely Ramirez will be looking for me there. Maybe the watch too. Yeah, I think we got your father's gold pocket watch. Okay, I didn't realise they were staying down here. They were in cahoots with Avery. Or whatever, Avery was an accomplice. Fair enough, then. Anything else about you in here? No. Toilets, not really of value. I think that's it, honestly. Fergus Fourfingers, I didn't even notice they had names. I approve. So you're Fergus Fourfingers, what was your name? Blackjack Buller, oh well. He met Black Jack. Surnameless. Um, does this guy have a name then? Did you say his name? This was Marcus. I we picked him up. Marcus von Goethe, yeah. I didn't even stop to read. Simon the Snake. Alright, well. I'm just going to leave this guy locked out. I don't know if it matters. But I have a couple of minutes, so... Uh. Leave them all in a pile. I don't know why I went the long way around. Maybe the Ramirez that goes to find them, maybe they'll wake up first. I don't know. I don't think I care. I don't suppose it really matters. Leave them in the spotlight. Just to make a statement. Who is this one? That's Mr. Unconscious Body. He's just a guard. He's not part of the yeah, crew. Well, maybe I should have left the guards alive. Yeah. But the guards are probably not... You know, they don't know. Because he's complaining that he didn't know the code. But the supervisor was complaining he didn't know the code. So the guards certainly don't. Alright. 
You know what? How about we frame them for the bank robbery too? Oh, I can't. I can't drop the book. Oh well. Tell you what. Can I drop the partly burned note? I can. Let's leave that for the supervisor as well. Alright, I think we're done. Back to where we started. down this way, wasn't it? Right, we do have this one last guard. was reverse robbery and uh, it took me much too long <laughs> uh, as you can see by the end I got very tired of, of running around chasing around after things it's like it's all the stuff get to the bank and then find I have to go running around town to find the gears and uh, trying to solve riddles without any understanding of where to go to solve some things like that whatever whatever did it in the end Seven hours, 18 minutes. Well, it's, uh, that's mission time. It's, it's a lot more than that, uh, actual time. Still somehow missed 3,100 loot somewhere. I haven't the foggiest idea where. Secrets found five out of 24. Well, that probably is most of the rest of the loot. I thought I was doing okay on secrets. I found five out of twenty-four. Maybe there's more windows you can open in places. I have I have no idea, no idea whatsoever. Clearly, a lot of stuff hidden around the place. That's fine. That's cool. I mean, it's kind of like what I did. I, I hid little bits of loot around in my mission, and there were like almost two dozen secrets listed, which were single pieces of loot, but. Well, many of them, many of them were. I just killed one. Oh yeah, I killed one guy to mine. Fair enough. Mine beast destroyed one? Oh, the camera that I blew up. That's right. Yep. Okay. Don't know why I've got campaign totals. It's not a campaign, but fair enough. I guess I just didn't end, edit the... Uh, Debrief string. That was reverse robbery. The director's cut. So thanks very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me here next time for the next mission, whatever that turns out to be.